In this section, I want to get you comfortable with navigating the WordPress interface. To do that, I'm going to give you a very basic tour of the WordPress dashboard, along with a surface level overview of some of the most common things you'll be doing with it. That way, as we dive deeper into these different aspects later, you'll be at least somewhat familiar with where everything is and how to navigate it. Now, of course, the first step is logging in to the WordPress dashboard. If you created a local website, you'll need to open the local application, select your site, and then click WP Admin. If you created a live site on a web host, you can always access your WordPress dashboard by going to your domain slash WP dash admin. So for me, it would be bradstestsite.com slash WP dash admin. Now, as I mentioned, your domain name will take some time to fully activate, anywhere from a few minutes to a few hours. So if you get some kind of error when you try to do this, you just need to give it some time. So we'll do that, and you'll see this login page. Here you're gonna use your email address and the password you set for your WordPress account. And this is your WordPress dashboard. In the next video, we'll take a basic tour of this interface.